Hey everybody, it's Dr. Lee, and we will be out on the ranch shortly here. We're heading down the, the highway to get to the ranch. Got an interesting project today. We're going to move some deer feeders today, and one in particular I'm going to move where we've been seeing some really, really large axis bucks coming in there. We're just about at the just about at the ranch right now, so we'll uh, get this uh, video going and show you what we're going to do today. Come along for the ride; going to be fun. All righty, coming into the ranch here. You can see the grasses have been growing well. The rains have been good in Texas, and we sure sure have a lot to be thankful for here. Deer have been coming in from that big that big area over there on the left. That's another ranch. And uh, going down to that corner and then turning and going back up that fence line there, I'm gonna put a deer feeder way down there in that corner. And see if that will keep them coming around. And then we'll set some game cameras up, try to get some pictures of them when they come in at night. And uh, see if we can make it a, a habit for them. Sure would like to see them coming in a lot. This one that you can see right there is just about empty. It would be a good candidate, but there's been a lot of pigs coming through this area right through here, and I would like to see if uh, we can catch them on, on the game camera too. So I'm not gonna take that one. I'm gonna put a, put a camera under it though. All right, let's see. There should be one right around here, right around this corner. Sorry, I hope my driving's not making you nauseated. Okay, go through this little gate right here. Yeah, here's one out here, and I'm pretty sure it should be empty. So I'll give you a good look at this one. Yeah, there's a hog trap right beside it. So we'll get this one. For those of you that don't know much about uh, deer feeders, this is basically all it is. 55 gallon drum setting up there that we fill up with corn. And it's got a little box underneath right here that's got a timer in it and a motor and a little battery. And it spins that little device up there, a little whirly gig thing, and uh, throws corn all over the place. This particular one it's got a light on it too, and it looks like the deer have been banging that thing around. Uh, this this uh, this particular feeder's been abandoned for a little bit, so we'll have to probably put a new battery in it and and kind of straighten it up a little bit, get it moved, and then uh, fill it up with corn. But anyway, that's what a deer feeder is. A little bit more later. Alrighty, I'd like to say that we made that trip unscathed, but uh, not so lucky. Uh, coming across the pasture, hit a pretty nasty little ravine, uh, and all of that fell out. So had to go back and get a, a bungee to hook it in, but uh, it didn't damage it at all. You can't even tell. It just fell out and made a whole lot of noise and scared me. Nevertheless, this, this is the area down here, fence line, where the deer have been coming through. And uh, again, there's only been a few, but boy, they are some nice, really big, beautiful bucks. And they, they kind of make this corner right here, and then they go down this fence line right here too. So I, I figure we get in the corner, because they always do make it to this corner. Uh, get in this corner, we'll set the deer feeder up right in this area. And um, for more reasons than one close to the fence, I'm gonna put game cameras out and I can hook those to the fence post really, really easily. So that's kind of the meaning to the madness here. Easy as that. The only thing we need right now, a little bit of corn. And that's where we're headed next. Getting 
close. You can always tell what time of year it is by the price of the deer corn. When it's six dollars a bag, that means it's probably deer seed. now and go out there and fill up our deer feeders and this is one of those deals where just when you think your job is the worst job in the world you see this guy right here and he's doing a good dance I hope I got that on film because he's, he's a pretty motivated guy so God bless him for working but I'm glad that's his job and not mine gonna put one bag in it right now in case I want to move it when you put five or six bags in that thing you're not gonna move it anywhere for quite a while it takes takes about a month or so for it to empty out with it running pretty heavy so we're gonna do that just in case we need to move it alrighty and there's our brand new one ready to go for a whole year these things close like that and uh, up here let me see if I can get this thing focused in a little bit better yeah this little deal right here there's a hole in the bottom of the barrel it comes down and it fills this thing up and there's a motor that spins this and throws corn all over the place and that's one thing I need to not forget too and that is to put the top back on the bucket or when it rains it will be a mess we are coming back into the part of the ranch that we passed earlier where the uh, feeder was where I commented there's a bunch of hogs coming around here that feeder's pretty much empty so I got all this new corn we'll go ahead and top this one off it'll probably take five or six bags to get it full but uh, anyway a little bit of a trick this feeder's taller than that other one this is a pretty old feeder here and it's a it's a real tall one and uh, yeah, just kind of position my truck where I can stand up on the toolbox and uh, get, the, get the feed in. I'll show you how we do it. All righty, here we go again. Gonna put a new battery in this one too. <clears throat> they commonly burn out a battery. If it's an old battery, they'll burn it out in the middle of the winter. You never really know when until the deer quit coming. So starting out this time of year this is the 15th of October this is a good time to change them out okay and now we'll see if it works duck I was wondering how the mud daubers got in there. That thing was perfectly airtight, complete seal all around it. But uh, where the wire comes out the bottom, it had a little grommet there, and that grommet slipped, left just enough of a hole where the mud daubers can get in there and build their nest. So that'll give me something to do in my spare time. You know how that goes. Anyway, this one's set up, mostly hogs coming into this one. We'll see some whitetail deer occasionally. But I'm, I'm really, really, really excited about the other feeder that we set up on the other side of the ranch, trying to catch those axis deer. They're very elusive and uh, hard, just hard to, hard to get up on them to really get a good look at them. And they are huge. They're a lot bigger than the whitetail deer here. And just absolutely gorgeous. They're a spotted deer, just really, really beautiful coats. But anyway, hopefully we'll get some pictures and I can show you really soon what they look like. Anyway, we're out on the ranch. I'm Dr. Lee and uh, we may have just a few more things to put into this video. Um, if I get time to go put the game, the game cameras up tonight, 
I'll, sh I'll show you. I'll do a little video on that too and add it into this one. Anyway, if I don't, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time on Out on the Ranch. Well, all righty. Well, I was not able to get the game cameras last night. So uh, I saved that for today. And I may or may not have skipped out of work just a little bit early today, but then again, I'm the boss, and uh, sometimes the boss gets to do whatever he wants. Anyway, I was able to get the game cameras all situated today, so we'll go ahead and take them on down to the, to the feeder, which is, let's see if we can see the feeder from here. There it is, right there, down at the down at the end of the pasture and I did check last night um, I drove out there to, to see what was going on and I got about oh maybe a hundred yards from the deer feeder and there were some really nice looking whitetail bucks out there and a couple of whitetail does so uh, it's bringing some deer in now whether or not the Axis paid a visit last night there's no way to know and that's why we're putting the game cameras up. So let's head on down here. We'll put the game cameras up. Well, all righty. Well, there's our deer feeder. It did not fall over. Everything looks good. What's really interesting is there are no remnants of deer corn on the ground at all. And I set this feeder to cycle. It cycled three times since it's been, uh, since we set it up yesterday. And I set it to throw for 10 seconds at a time. I increased the throw time. So it has thrown a heck of a lot of corn out here and there's just no corn around right now. So that's a, that's a really, really good sign. Um, let's see, one other thing that's interesting too, it'll be after this deer feeder's been here for a few days, maybe a week or so, all of this tall grass is gonna be gone. They come in, trample it down. When, when, the, when, there's, no more gra when there's no more corn there, they'll eat the grass, munch on the grass for a while. So we're gonna set up three cameras out here today. I'm gonna put one over there on that fence line Oh, by the way, I meant to tell you, also to try to increase our chances of getting the deer to come down to this corner, I took my tractor and I shredded a big walkway through them. That grass is about three feet deep down there in the deepest part. It may be a little bit deeper than that in some areas, especially out toward the middle of this pasture. Right in here about three feet, it's about the tallest grass that there is. And uh, coming back this way, I did the same thing. All righty, here's our video. Camera right here. It's always kind of hard to position these things on here. When first doing this, it's kind of Hard to figure out. Sometimes you wind up with a whole lot of really beautiful videos of the sky at night. Maybe the tips of some antlers going by you and you think, oh my gosh, what did we miss there? Probably the best deer on the planet walked right by us. Okay, that ought to work. Always have to get the straps out of the way. Deer love to chew on everything. They'll eat these straps all to pieces. Don't ask me how I know that. Okay, so there's that one. Point it right at the feeder. One more and we'll be set. And I'm just gonna put it right next to its neighbor there. This will be the one that takes the three shot burst here. And it looks like they gave us about 15 times too much of this stuff, but uh, I have had it to where they weren't long enough getting into some big trees inside some of the wooded areas here on the ranch. You can uh, run out of strap pretty quickly. Boy, this thing still chewed up. It wasn't just on the end. 
about 85 to 88 degrees today here in South Texas. Weatherman didn't read the book. It's supposed to be 75. It's hot out here today. A little bit of a breeze, but not much. Just found a piece of panel that I didn't even know I owned. I have no clue how long this has been out here or why it's here. But uh, anyway, maybe I'll, maybe I'll remember it next time I need a piece. All right, we've got our uh, cameras all set up. Kind of pull this, this, uh, this one off of here right quick. Off the tripod, show you what we got. Okie doke. This is the video camera right here. We turn it on just like that. Okay. That's all you have to do. It's as easy as that. This is our three burst camera right here. And to set it, we just pull that down to the first click. All right. And way back over here. It's kind of cattywampus. Let's straighten it out just a little bit. All right, and to turn this one on, just like that other one, you come down to the first click. No, I'm sorry, second click. So this is one that's going to take singles. All righty, we are set, folks. Very good. Well, it's all a waiting game now. We'll see what happens. I'll be checking these cameras every night. I'll come pull the cards and check them. As soon as we start seeing some activity with the big deer, I'll make another video, hopefully in a week or so. I sure hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I, I hope you had as much fun watching it as I had making it. I'll just put it that way. Anyway, we'll see you next time out here on the ranch. Take care now. Adios.